पाकिस्तान recent updates and mcqs learning outcomes by the end of this presentation participant will be able to describe the reproductive health components of reproductive health and reproductive health issues in pakistan maternal and child health according to who maternal and child health refers to promotive curative preventive and rehabilitative health care of mother and child Promotive health services is actually uh, the promotion of healthy activities, uh, change in behaviors and attitudes, and it is not only the responsibility of health sector but also the responsibility of other sectors like education, a uh, change in environment. Preventive uh, component is actually uh, to eliminate, eradicate, or any risk factor that is associated with the disease. and creative component is to treat the disease and rehabilitative uh, health care of mother and child these are all services which is come under maternal and child health care now sub areas of maternal and child health it includes uh, maternal health child health family planning school health handicap children health adolescence health aspects of care of children in special settings now the problems uh, of uh, uh, maternal and child health we basically the problems in mother in pakistan it include early age of marriage for example teen age pregnancies unsafe abortion unwanted fertility and infertility high fertility rate and rising population high maternal mortality among women in reproductive age group poor nutritional status that leads to high level of anemia reproductive tract infection sexually transmitted disease and emerging problem of hiv or aids gender discrimination low level of literacy among females low status of women in society and heavy workload and violence against women if we see the problems in child and adolescent in pakistan the most common problem in newborn is low birth weight babies unaccept uh, unacceptably high mortality rates during early childhood period poor nutritional status which leads to high level of anemia in uh, child acute respiratory tract infection diarrheal disease high level of school dropouts child labor and abuse social problems of adolescent includes drug abuse and sexual problems disabled child include physical mental and behavioral problem in street children adolescent child violence and abuse are now very common in developing countries and if we see the problem of adolescent girl then the problem is teen age pregnancy depression or malnutrition Uh, while uh, the woman dies, if we see uh, according to the three delays framework model, the uh, first delay is actually decision to seek care. Uh, it uh, includes the lack of understanding of complication, uh, acceptance of maternal death, low status of woman, illiteracy, some cultural norms, behavior practice, socio cultural barriers uh, to seeking care, or male dominant society. Second delay is delay in reaching care. it include transport uh, problem financial problem um, there is no finances uh, for hiring the transport or um, third delay is delay in receiving the care a delay in receiving care uh, actually is the supplies uh, personal lack of supplies and personal poorly trained staff with uh, with punitive attitude or finances the staff uh, is uh, less motivated towards treatment of the patient therefore these uh, uh, three delays are the uh, actually most common delays which can lead to maternal death if we see the epidemiological triad related to mother and child then uh, we see that the um uh, in the framework of agent host environment as we all know that the epidemiological uh, triad include age agent or environment uh, if we see in the uh, maternal and child health agent is child 
host is the mother and environment agent uh, child include fetal life for example nutrition change in environment hormonal level growth and development childhood include nutrition physical care growth and development socialization care during illness and in the host include mother mother nutrition physical health genetic inheritance and social status in environment include physical biological or psychological environment therefore uh, the mch problem if we see in uh, try 8 uh, there is also the malnutrition infection unregulated fertility which is also known as maternal and child health problems try 8 this most important and common and it is also affected by healthcare delivery system uh, which is further affected by economic cultural and social factors therefore if we see the mch triad uh, malnutrition is one in triad which is widely prevalent in developing countries pregnant and lactating women uh, and children are particularly vulnerable to malnutrition malnutrition during pregnancy can result in complications in mother like maternal depletion maternal anemia postpartum hemorrhages toxemia of pregnancy or low birth weight in baby Uh, the malnutrition if we see the critical periods of life when a child is most vulnerable to malnutrition is include intrauterine period uh, when child born with adequate birth weight have lower uh, mortality even with poor environmental conditions waning period uh, severe malnutrition coincide with usual age of waning and men uh, malnourished child are not only susceptible to infection severity of illness due to infection is more among the malnourished children as compared to well nourished children hence improving protection and promotion of nutritional status is essential element of mch care no doubt all uh, age group is uh, very important and vulnerable to malnutrition but critical period of life according to most studies is the intrauterine period and waning period which is include 1 to 6 month of child growth is Uh, usually associated with severe malnutrition and it uh, it leads to uh, poor uh, growth and uh, low iq level if the child is stunted or malnutrition in children uh, therefore malnutrition uh, to combat malnutrition intervention for improving the nutrition of mother and child are both and both direct and indirect intervention are used direct interventions are actually the um, intervention a range of activities for example supplementary feeding programs uh, which include uh, distribution of iron and folic acid tablets to mother uh, during pregnancy fortification and enrichment of foods uh, nutritional education to the mother these are all direct in interventions for to combat the malnutrition during pregnancy if we talk about indirect intervention then it includes actually the control of communicable disease through immunization safe and clean water supply environmental sanitation family planning food hygiene education and primary health care program these are all indirect intervention now second triad include uh, the second element which is included mch triad is maternal infection the maternal infection lead to increased mortality and morbidity among mother, both mother and baby the risk of infection is low in developed countries but they uh, continue to be major problem in developing countries infection during pregnancy can result in intrauterine growth restriction and low birth weight in genital malformation in the fetus for example rubella which can lead to congenital malformation abortions and pubertal sepsis uh, these are also the abortion pubertal sepsis or uh, congenital malformation include in the mother and the effect of maternal infection on babies is most common low birth weight and intrauterine growth restriction the cytomegalovirus herpes and toxoplasma gonadea infection are some of the infections seen in among pregnant women in addition 25% of pregnant women in rural areas have at least one bout of urinary tract infection now the infection in childhood uh, increase the, uh, the risk begin with delivery and then increases almost a third of the period of infancy may be affected by infection in developing countries the child are risk for diarrheal disease respiratory tract infection skin infection some regions of country have increased risk of tb and malaria also 
the frequent infection now in child may precipitate severe protein energy malnutrition and anemia now the control of infection immunization children in developing countries need to be immunized against the six major infections covered under who expanded program of immunization which include tb diphtheria whooping cough tetanus measles and polio educating the mothers in management of infections like oral rehydration uh, strategies or danger signs improving nutritional status reduce both vulnerability and severity of infection and provision of safe drinking water and sanitation now the third uh, element in triad is include unregulated fertility or uncontrolled reproduction which has health hazards for both mother and child and it can adversely affect the health of both the mother and child and adverse effect of mother include the severe anemia abortion antepartum hemorrhage high maternal mortality the risk increases significantly after the fourth pregnancy adverse effect of unregulated fertility or unregulated reproduction on the child include low birth weight anemia high perinatal mortality the risk increases greatly after the fourth pregnancy control of unregulated fertility or uncontrolled reproduction the family planning services form an important part of mch services the services can be rendered by principal health worker also and family life education at the school level itself can also play an important role in control of unregulated fertility now uh, if we see a recent uh, uh, according to the recent pakistan demographic and health survey the maternal mortality ratio in pakistan decreased from 276 death per 1 uh, lakh live births uh, as per pakistan demographic survey in 2006 to 7 uh, to 186 according to latest uh, pakistan maternal mortality survey the key finding of first exclusive nation wide survey were released today in webinar uh, which are uh, organized by national institute of population studies the finding highlighted that improvement in health services in last decade enhanced awareness and utilization of antenatal and postnatal care by women are likely to have contributed in overall decrease in maternal mortality rate the maternal mortality rate according to this survey is lowest ratio is lowest in punjab followed by highest in balochistan if we see the highest maternal mortality ratio by region the highest maternal mortality ratio is 466 in balochistan and lowest is in the punjab which is 235 now recent advances uh, who uh, develop a strategy of global strategy for women children and adolescent health from 2016 to 2030 uh, according to this um, uh, strategy by 2030 a world in which every woman every child and adolescent in every setting realize their rights to physical mental and health and well being as social and economic opportunities and is able to participate fully in shaping prosperous and sustainable society the objective and target in, uh, are aligned with sustainable development goals it includes survive thrive and transform survive include and preventable deaths which include Uh, reduce global maternal mortality to less than 70 per 1 lakh live births newborn mortality less than 12 per 1 lakh uh, 1000 live births thrive mean and short health and well being which include and all forms of malnutrition and breast and nutritional needs of children transform mean expand enabling environment which include eradicate extreme poverty ensure that all girls and boys uh, com- uh, complete or free and equitable and good quality primary and secondary education there is also immunization agenda a global strategy 2030 developed by who to leave no one behind the vision of this strategy is a world where everyone everywhere at every age fully benefits from vaccines for good health and well being its impact goals include reduce mortality and morbidity from vaccine preventable disease leave no one behind by increasing equitable access and use of new and existing vaccine ensure good health and well being for everyone by strengthening immunization within primary healthcare and contributing to universal health coverage another plan 
developed by WHO include comprehensive implementation plan on maternal infant and young child infant nutrition. Uh, the five targets global set according to this plan. The first global target includes stunting. According to this plan, by 2025, a 40% reduction of global number of children under five who are stunted. Global target to include anemia. By 2025, a 50% reduction of anemia in women of reproductive age. Global uh, target three include low birth weight. By 2020, a 30% reduction in uh, low uh, reduction of low birth weight. Global target for overweight by 2025, no increase in childhood overweight. Global target five, breastfeeding by 2025, increase in rate of exclusive breastfeeding in first six months up to at least 50%. Global target six, wasting. By 2025, reduced and maintained childhood wasting to less than 5%. Anatoms as strategies also developed by WHO inspired strategy which includes seven strategies for ending violence against children. Inspired strategy include I stand for implementation and enforcement of laws and its norms and values. S includes safe environment. P include parent and caregiver support. I include income and economic strengthening. S R include response and support services. E include education and life skills. These inspired strategies actually the seven strategies for ending violence against children around the world. The implementation and enforcement of law include banning violent discipline and restricting access to alcohol and firearms. Norms and values include altering norms that condone the sexual abuse of girls or aggressive behavior among boys. Safe environment include identifying neighborhood hotspot for violence and then addressing the local cases through problem-oriented policies. The parental and caregiver support include providing parent training to young first-time in parents. The income and economic strengthening in inspired strategies include microfinancing and gender equity training. Response uh, services include ensuring that children are exposed to violence can access to effective emergency care and receive appropriate psychosocial support. And e-education and life school include uh, ensure that the child attends school and providing life and social skill training. These is inspired strategies against reducing violence against children. Now in Pakistan, there is also national reproductive maternal and child health adolescent and newborn strategies, um, uh, child adolescent health and nutrition strategies 2016 to 2020. Uh, it includes actually the implementation approach for uh, Reproductive challenges of to address the challenges of reproductive maternal, newborn child, and adolescent health and nutrition. And it includes the 10 priority action area, which can identify it in national document. The vision of this strategy is to improve the health, particularly women and children, through universal access to affordable, quality, essential health services, and deliver through resilient and responsive health system ready to attain sustainable development goals. The goal of this strategy is to provision of quality and affordable maternal, newborn, child, adolescent, and nutritional health care in a countable and equitable manner to evidence-based operational planning. Now, article is recently published, uh, which can see why our Pakistani maternal, fetal, and newborn outcomes are so poor compared to lower and middle-income countries. Uh, according to this article, Pakistan has among the poorest pregnancy outcome worldwide, significantly worse than many other low source, uh, low source countries. Method in this global network, maternal newborn health registry, prospective population-based observational studies that include all pro, uh, pregnant women and pregnancy outcomes in defined geographic community in six low middle income countries, including India, Pakistan, Democratic Republic of Congo, Utmala, Kenya, or Zambia. The result from 2010 to 18 in the include that 91,076 births in Pakistan and 45, 56 to 75 births in other GN side combined. The MMR maternal mortality ratio in Pakistan was 319 per one day live births compared to average of 124 in other side, while the Pakistan uh, neonatal mortality rate was 
59 per 1000 live birth compared to 20.4 in other countries. The still birth rate in Pakistan was 53 per 1000 live birth compared to 23 to other sites. Preterm birth and low birth rate were also substantially higher. The study concluded that Pakistani pregnancy outcome was much worse than other global network regions. Reason for these poor outcome include Pakistan sites reproductive age women are less poorly educated, undernourished, anemic, deliver a high percentage of preterm and low birth weight babies in setting of inadequate maternal and newborn care. Another uh, article published which include maternal mortality in rural areas of Pakistan, challenges and prospects. According to this article, Pakistan is one of countries in South Asia ranking high in maternal mortality rate. Pakistan is signatory of Agenda 2030. The country still lags behind considerably in achieving sustainable development goals. The ratio of maternal mortality is even higher in rural areas of country. The lack of healthcare facilities, education, malnutrition, poverty, high prevalence of violence against women in rural areas, social economic factors are major contributing elements for elevated level of maternal mortality and morbidity in Pakistan. According to this um, uh, article, the inclusive policies at national level to improve the reach of rural health include educating women, eliminate gender-based disparities, introducing family planning intervention, accountability, continuity of democracy are essentially needed to improve maternal health in Pakistan. Now time for MCQs. MCQs 1. According to World Health Organization, Low and lower middle income countries account for 94% of all maternal deaths or mortality. Which of the following has positive effect on maternal health? Alpha uh, early marriage, beta female genital tract infection, C inadequate nutrition, delta anemia, E adequate health service, uh, service coverage. What will be the correct option? E will be the correct option. Uh, adequate health uh, service coverage is actually has a positive impact on maternal health. MCU two in XYZ community, a breastfeeding promotion promotion um, initiative for economically disadvantaged mother has been established to motivate mothers to breastfeed their children. In this scenario, the following services are provided: alpha promotive services. Beta preventive services, C curative services, Delta rehabilitative services, E vocational services. A. Alpha will be the correct option as promotive services in order to promote the breastfeeding um, to breastfeed their child uh, is uh, start in the uh, community. Therefore, this includes promotive component of maternal and child health. Alpha will be the correct option. MCQC. 40 out of 80 women who had verbal autopsies delayed seeking medical assistance at XYZ hospital. Underestimating the severity of difficulties, cultural attitudes and convention, and previous interaction with healthcare system have all been implicated for the delay. The critical level of delay in this scenario is alpha first level delay, beta second level delay, C third level delay, delta fourth level delay, E fifth level delay. What will be the correct option? As I already mentioned that the, there's three level of delays. First level is delay in seeking, uh, in deciding the, uh, in deciding to, uh, to attain or seek the health care, uh, which include various difficulties, attitudes, cultural norms, and uh, pre pre previous bad experience with healthcare system. Therefore, the, uh, it indicates the first critical level of delay. Alpha will be the correct option. MCQ score. Malnutrition, the most prevalent human problem, particularly in less, uh, less developed countries, have a negative impact not only on quality of life, but also on socioeconomic growth. Critical period of life when a child is most vulnerable to malnutrition is alpha during the first six months of life, beta during first three months of life, C first three years of life, Delta first four years of life, E first five years of life. E. 
beta uh, alpha will be the correct option as i already mentioned that the uh, 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 most common uh, critical period according to such or studies is the waning period or intrauterine period therefore the first six months of life of child is the critical period when child is most vulnerable to malnutrition as per during first six months of life mcqs5 abc cross sectional study determined the type of medications medicines provided against common childhood illness in xyz rural area in this scenario the following services are provided alpha promotive services beta preventive services c curative services delta rehabilitative services e vocational services b c c will be the correct option uh, the um, study indicated the type of medicine provided against common childhood illness therefore treatment of uh, illness come under the creative services c will be the correct option mcq 6 during pregnancy maternal infection is common and it has a substantial impact on newborn infection during pregnancy can result in the following effect for newborn alpha low birth weight beta abortions c pupil sepsis delta postpartum hemorrhage e and the partum hemorrhage a anyone else alpha low birth weight as we know that the effect of uh, infection on new birth is alpha uh, alpha igg or intrauterine growth restriction or low birth weight therefore alpha will be the correct option while all other options or facts are on the mother mcq 7 the three delay model is being employed in xyz research project to investigate its relevance and potential to support a solution based strategy for acquiring access to intrapartum care in abc community the investigation concluded that delay was caused by shortage of equipment and resources in healthcare facility the critical level of delay in this situation is alpha first level delay beta second level delay c third level delay delta fourth level delay e fifth level delay what will be the correct option c third level c third level of delay because i already mentioned that lack of uh, equipment and staff and poor uh, attitude or bad attitude or less motivated staff toward treatment of patient is actually the third level delay in um, providing the treatment to the patient therefore c will be the correct option mcq is 8 the comprehensive implementation plan on maternal infant and young child nutrition include the setting of global targets for immunity this global goal implies a a dash reduction in anemia in women of reproductive age group by 2025 alpha 30% reduction beta 40% reduction c 50% reduction delta 20% reduction c 40% reduction a what will be the correct option a c will be the correct option 50% reduction in anemia mcq is 9 the three delay model co outlines three important phases that could directly affect the survival of both mother and infant the third level of delay is as follows alpha lack of transport beta lack of money c lack of trained staff delta traditional belief e transport costs c lack of trained staff c lack of trained staff is actually the third level of delay in seeking the uh, health care in health facility mcq stan who led the development of evidence based technical package called inspire strategies for reducing violence against children identifying hot areas for uh, child violence in neighborhood and then addressing the local reason to problem based oriented policy is known as their strategy in inspire alpha parental or caregiver support beta education and life skill c norms and values change delta safe environment e implementation and enforcement of laws
Your word will be the prep option. E. Uh, delta will be the prep option. Safe environment. Actually, the inspired strategy includes the seven strategies. Uh, I stand for implementation and enforcement of laws and is norms and uh, values. S is the safe environment. P is parent support. Therefore, response and E is the education and life skill. Therefore, the um, delta is the uh, correct option, a safe environment, which includes the identifying the hot areas for child violence in neighborhood or in environment where the child is uh, growing or uh, working, and then addressing the local region through problem-based uh, policies according to this inspired strategy is known as safe environment. That the child, there should be safe environment for every child uh, for their growth and development. Delta will be the correct option. This is a key of my MCQs.